With diverse flora and fauna, magnificent natural landscapes, and an ecological biosphere that supports life, this wondrous planet is our earthly home. From our animal co-inhabitants to the lush rainforests and life-giving soil, we cherish all these as gifts from the Creator. It is a common theme in the world's major faiths that during our temporary stay here, we should be good stewards of Mother Earth. Throughout the years, Supreme Master Ching Hai has shared the message of leading a balanced life while following a spiritual path. Not only must we nourish our spirits, but we share the responsibility to care for nature and our fellow beings. In light of recent scientific evidence which pinpoint the raising of livestock as the number one contributor to climate change, Supreme Master Ching Hai affirms the important message she has noted for over the past two decades. We must be vegan and practice sustainable living. We invite you to listen to a compilation of excerpts from Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures titled, Change Our Diet to Save Water for the World. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Zhou 所以不是说生病而已不是说那个是牛百生病都可以没关系我生病我自己去医院没关系是我自己错自己受不是连累到别人连累整个世界因为是那个肉啊就伤害很多人伤害很多那个环境嘛伤害的环境所以又变成这句
because the water bordering their state, the lake will be going down drastically due to climate change. And they will have to rebuild their harbors and uh, infrastructure to meet the new uh, level of water, uh, new demand. So that climate change, it will cost more. And why? Because of meat diet. All we do is just forsake that piece of meat on our plate and replace it with protein from vegetable kingdom. We have food to eat. We have choices. And they are wonderful. They are nutritious. It's not like we don't have choice. We don't have to kill to live. We don't have to degrade ourselves into murderous agent of the planet. We can live and let live. The way it is right now, it seems like we will be working forever, forever busy, just to pay tax. Because <laughs> we earn the money, and then we have to pay tax so that we can uh, have uh, our sickness uh, repaired, you know, our body checked up, and, and that not even guarantee that we can live. That is the point. So much suffering, so much medicament, so much uh, blood tests and x-ray and uh, operation and all that. All this doesn't even guarantee that, that our life will be saved due to the way we don't treat ourselves kindly, due to the way that we are taking poison for food. Meat is poison, scientifically speaking, physically speaking. It's good enough for me if people just be veg, do good deed. That's all I ask. Be vegetarian, do good deed. Yeah? Whatever good, you do it right away. Whatever bad, you stop. Doing good right now, including saving the planet. That means go veg as well. So it's all boiled down to being vegan. Okay, if you cannot be vegan, please be vegetarian first. Because if we don't eat meat, even though we eat cheese, that will be much, much less stock raising. And it will be much less killing on the planet. And it is the killing uh, karmic retribution that contribute to the danger of our planet right now. But just scientifically speaking, meat eating contributes to 80% of global warming and pollution. So if we just throw that piece of meat out of our mind, then the planet will be saved and you will have a longer life. And mark my word, you will be much happier person. You will be less anxious, sleep better at night. You will have no sickness. If all the planet people go vegetarian, we will have no sickness, almost zero. So God has created enough water for us, enough food for us to last even forever. If we but know how to stop abusing the earth resource and her sustenance, we should not kill our fellow beings to satisfy our greed. And this is the main point of planetary problem right now. Our overly spending of our moral merit and world resource. All this uh, changing bulbs and new car technology and sparing water, don't take a shower too long and don't uh, turn on the tap water while the, you're cleaning your teeth, all this is fine, but they are just scratching the itch outside of the sock. It will not ease our itch. It only makes matter temporarily forgotten and cover the real problem and cover the real solution. It just distracts us from our real, real goal, real solution, yes? And the planet will get worse if we just keep doing these uh, scratching outside the soft things. Yeah, we have to scratch on the skin if we want to ease our itch. What I mean is, we have to address the main wounds, that is the meat production. I mean, everybody who has the chance to know, has the power to know, should know by now that meat production is the main cause of global warming, and stop meat eating is the main solution to save the planet. I do not understand why we don't go there. If somebody with intelligence explain this to me, I will be very grateful if I have a good answer for that. Meanwhile, 
we just have to continue doing what we do, because we need to save this planet to pass on to our grandchildren. If we live the way we do now, meat eating, drug, alcohol, and cigarette, all that, and killing each other, killing the animals, I don't know how we really can answer to our own conscience. I'm not talk about religious obligation, nothing at all. Yeah. Uh, ever wonder what kind of example we want to offer to our children when they grow up? Yeah. From all all the goodness, uh, the well manner that we expect from them. Yeah. If we tell them to be frugal, or don't take shower too long, or even don't leave water running while brushing their teeth and all that. And even suppose we don't take bath anymore, even all of us. Uh, suppose we don't brush our teeth anymore. Suppose we don't even drink water. How much water do we save? Thirty percent, more or less. What good will that do to us? When we just stop eating meat, then we have seventy percent plus water to use. You can take as long bath as you want. You can have three, four swimming pool in your house. Nobody will say anything. And you will never feel any guilty. You never done anything harm to the planet. Just leave that piece of meat out of your diet. Let peace begin on your table. The expert told us a lot of things. Yes. They say that California right now is uh, headed toward the worst drought in California recorded history, the worst drought they're heading to. The Sierra Nevada mountains, which supply much of the rest of California's water, is uh, supplying now 61% of the usual amount in this past winter season, winter season even. We're not talking about summer yet, huh? when it's dry. California produces 50% of fruit, vegetables, and nuts that are grown in the United States. But the U.S. government has announced that farmers will not be able to buy any water from the state. Imagine this. They supply 50% of your fruit and vegetables, but now they're not able to buy any water from the state. And their state is in the drought predicament because the main source of water for farmer is expected to go dry this year. Greenhouse gases are causing deserts to expand in California. Elsewhere as well, but now we just zoom in on California. Yeah. Moreover, two of the largest Man-made lakes in the U.S., uh, Lake uh, Mead and Lake Powell, will be dry in the next decade, 2021. These lakes and the Colorado River system that fills them provide water to nearly 8% of the U.S. population. Now they are drying. They'll be completely dry soon. So, picture all this. See, Stockholm International Water Institute states that 70% of water is used by agriculture. Of that amount, a lot of it is going into planting corn and soy, and that is to feed animals, not humans. That's why we short of water, short of food. It's a waste of precious food, not just our precious water as well. The experts also calculate that one kilogram of beef takes 5,000 to 20,000 liters of water to produce, but one kilogram of wheat takes only 500 to 2,000 liters of water. That is one-tenth, you know, 10% of the amount of water for meat, you see? At a time when we have water shortage and all the reservoirs are dwindling, at such an alarming rate, we are truly afraid that even if we don't take shower at all, it will not do much help. Because uh, all the human uses and everything come together is only 30% of water around the world. Everything else is mostly used for meat industry. 